This video is brought to you by Squarespace, where you can build your own little home on the internet, all on one platform. Long time no see, but I'm back with another what I eat in a week, and I'm starting it off right. I have been diligent about having a juice, not every day, but you know, pretty frequently. I'm just eating as much raw fruits and vegetables as I can. So if you guys remember the absolute first what I eat in a week, you will notice that there weren't very many cooked meals in that video, and that's because that is actually how I eat. And then as 2020 progressed, the meals got more and more depressing. <laughs> And if you guys saw my last food scrap video, if you need recipes for what to do with your juice pulp, definitely check that out. Because one of the simpler recipes is just applesauce. So what you're seeing here is actually green applesauce. And if you think about it, this is actually like the perfect way to incorporate the color green into your kid's diet if they don't like vegetables. Give them something sweet that is the color of something healthy. Maybe they might be more prone to eat it. I mean, I ain't got kids, I can't tell you for sure. Another one of my favorite juices is just pomegranate orange. And here I'm using car car oranges as you can see the color is a bit more of like a pink issue and these are just like one of the sweetest oranges in my opinion so they pair perfectly the pomegranate because that is definitely on the more tart side has a nice flavor profile but doesn't give you very much sweetness at all so this is top tier this is this this is top tier right here and feel free to put more stuff in it. I just like to keep my meals like relatively simple because then that means that my digestive system is also not going to be confused. This is a jackfruit peach sea moss almond milk smoothie with a few dates for sweetness. And this is a habit that I developed um, when I was raw because you know, not every single fruit is naturally sweet. Like berries have a very low sugar content. So if you're looking for a replacement for sugar or honey, highly recommend my boyfriend finally, okay, here I go again. My fiance finally started doing this and he is like obsessed with it now. He's basically said that it's one of the best things I've introduced him to. So yeah, get on it. You will thank me later. Next up, we have a salad, and I think that this is a nod to my like taco salad. If you guys saw that video, you know that basically the only difference here is that I don't have any like vegan cheese or meat substitute. In that video, I made a black bean walnut meat, so I will link that down below if you wanna see how to make that because it is uh, delicious. And also, I actually have a version of that coming later in this video as well. We're gonna make some little um, taco boats is what I call them another day another juice so this is the one that i made previously and y'all know how i feel about this egg fruit y'all like i'm actually obsessed with it or at least i was i already finished the box now so at this time that i am recording this voiceover i have eaten an entire like five to six pounds of egg fruit and i am good i'm straight i'm, I'm set for a little while but sheesh if it ain't delicious in this daggone smoothie but since i'm going so fast as usual i will put that full recipe down in the description box along with everything that i'm making including a link to my kitchenware tour video in case you guys are curious about any of my bowls plates glassware like look at that she is so thick that she can't even sit level in the glass like come on this is seriously dessert quality and when i tell you that i have plans to turn this into several more recipes get excited because i know i am <laughs> And speaking of recipes, I have noticed many of you have commented that you would love to be able to have like one place that you can reference all of these recipes instead of having to guess like which recipe is in what video. So I have finally, finally decided to start a blog and I am honestly nervous about the upkeep of it because I'm already pressed for time. But you know what? I will never know until I try. So of course, naturally, I mean, it should be a no brainer that I decided to go with Squarespace because we all know how much I appreciate a good aesthetic and they have the most like visually interesting yet simple and customizable templates i don't know if any of you guys followed me back when i made nail videos but when i did I actually sold those thumb palettes that i made on squarespace so i know for a fact that it's like easy to use and i knew that once i was ready i would go back to the platform so it just so happened that it was like really good timing that they contacted me to do a collaboration so not only can you build a blog or have a portfolio but you can also use it as an e-commerce in true Gemini fashion, like my media tends to actually change from platform to platform. So you will notice that like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, none of the information is like super cohesive, at least not at the same time. So one of the features that I do like with Squarespace is that I'll be able to keep better track of that posting across all of my platforms because you can automatically push posts from your website to other social media channels. So if you guys are also looking to build your own website, feel free to head to squarespace.com and start your free trial and then you can come back here when you're ready to launch and go to squarespace.com backslash a between e to save 10% off your first purchase back into this 
food to the first cooked meal in this video. I am using this little plane that I got from Muji and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I showed you this in the kitchenware video that I just mentioned. Yeah, this godsend. If you want a great ginger or even garlic, this is gonna save you so much time and it's actually really easy to clean. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what I'm making or attempting to make. It was maybe a butter chicken or a tikka masala. I have no clue because I don't, I don't know what I put in it. I know there's some coconut milk and obviously some ginger and garlic, tomato paste, chickpeas, but other than that, So the next morning I had papaya for breakfast and these are pretty light. They definitely have like a high water content, very juicy. So I was still hungry after this. Therefore, I had the first of my new batch of egg fruit because this is when I got my box. And honestly, these are so rich. All I had was one of these and that was enough to keep me full for the next couple of hours paired with the papaya. As you can see, the consistency is very thick. And I know I showed you guys this like in the last video, but I'm just gonna reiterate for anyone who isn't familiar, egg fruit to me tastes like sweet potato and yellow cake, especially when you let it get nice and ripe. So although you can see the outside of my fruit is nice and soft and it's still a very rich yellow color, you can let it go beyond this. You can let it start getting like brown spots. I mean, let it get really soft and it will still be delicious. Also been finding a lot of dragon fruit at Whole Foods, so I had a little fruit plate. Not my preferred assortment, but that's all I had at the moment. Next day, polished off the rest of my green juice, and I also had a cherimoya. If you've never had them, I know they're expensive. I think this one was like $5.99, but seriously, y'all, these taste like straight up candy. So if you love sweet fruit, you will love this. I imagine this is what soursop tastes like because it literally looks like a baby version of it. So if you've ever had it, please comment down below. Tell me how you feel about it. I am thinking about placing an order for some, but the way my wallet is set up, I don't, I don't know if I can quite go there yet. And this montage is for those of you who aren't yet tired of seeing me make a pico de gallo. Like, sis, can you please learn to make something else? Definitely been having a lot of stuff on repeat lately, so I will be switching it up very soon. So look forward to that. And yes, ma'am, I did save these avocado skins because if you guys saw my last video, the apartment updates, then you know that I used some to dye my kitchen towels and I didn't get the color that I was quite expecting. So now I'm gonna try it with some fresh ones and I'm really excited to see the color that I get. And in case you can tell, these are the taco boats that I was talking about. So what I use for the actual boat or the, you know, outer casing of the taco is endive. But feel free to use lettuce. The only reason I prefer these is because they like hold their shape and just makes it like easier for me to eat. But do also keep in mind that they are a lot more bitter. And I'm also making a walnut meat so that we get some more healthy fats and protein in there. So this is literally just walnuts with all of your usual like taco seasonings. And if you have a nut allergy, you can feel free to substitute this for mushrooms. And there you go, you got raw tacos. This is something I used to make all the time when I was raw, but I used sunflower seeds. And don't worry, I ate a whole lot more than that. I also had a lot of garlic sitting out on my counter and personally I think that garlic does better in the refrigerator so I decided to just like take all of my cloves out and put them in a container but instead of keeping them whole I decided to mince them because I just knew that I was probably going to be making a lot of recipes over the next couple of days that would require it and wanted to save myself the time and the trouble. So all you have to do is put these into a food processor. You can also add in some olive oil. You can cover them with olive oil in the container. I like to just keep it as is because I will add what I consider to be the appropriate amount of fat for that particular meal at the time that I use it. 
And if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should be at a between e, I actually already showed you this dish. So here I am making just like a quick little gochujang sauce. Instead of cubing my tofu, made some larger pieces, kind of like mini fillets. Of course, had to throw in some onions. And then I just served that up with some rice, the seaweed snacks I had in my pantry, and there you go. If you can't stand spicy food, just keep scrolling. Don't even, don't even try. You could probably substitute like the chili paste for some other flavors. I bought at least, at least three dragon fruit. So this is me, again, having it for breakfast. This variety of dragon fruit, it's just not very sweet. In my opinion, the sweetest ones are the yellow ones. So to counteract that, I find that the passion fruit adds that sweetness and that like tropical flavor that I love while being able to enjoy the texture and hydration of the dragon fruit. And that is actually it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Bye.